Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer with this morning update. I want to go to the northeast where a storm system will wrap up today, but it has been snowing over the last uh, 48 hours. Look at Killington's. Uh uh, this is the number, 5 inches in the last 24 hours. They're reporting 15 inches in the last 48 hours, and temperatures are much colder up there. So we're finally seeing some snow for the northeast, and I have at least one more storm system, 25-26, that will deliver some heavy snow accumulation to the northeast. And there's probably one more storm behind that end of the month into maybe the first day of February, somewhere in that time frame. Um, let me take you to my uh, bullet points here and show you what I'm thinking. So we're dealing with a fast northwest flow out west. Um, very fast, although it, a couple of days ago it looked like it was going to be um, rather potent. Now it's, it's, it's really decreased in intensity, but it's still going to deliver some accumulation to the northern tier of the Rockies from like the central to northern mountains of Colorado to the north to the Wasatch to the Tetons to Montana to Idaho those places will still see some snow out of this fast northwest flow then that whole pattern out west is going to shift back to the south the jet's going to shift from north to south uh, on or after 128 somewhere right in there and then as after that shift lower pressures will take over the west into the month of February. So it does look active for the West into the month of February. Um, I talked about the storm systems for the Northeast. Let me just show you what um, the infrared or water vapor, here's water vapor this morning. Let's go with this, what it looks like. So the reds and orange are drier air aloft. Let me just show you, here's the main low. This is everything up here that's driving most of the action. There's another low behind it. But the jet is bent and there's a ridge let me just show you what this looks like. So there's a big ridge up here, and then the jet's dropping down. So this is the fast northwest flow. Let me just get a different color and show you this. It's this. Everything, all the energy comes up over the top and swoops down this big slide, this northwest flow, and hits you know, parts of Canada, the northern tier, and then they run down. All these storms run down through Colorado and brushing the Wasatch. That's going to be the pattern through about 128 then the whole thing the whole jet itself and there's a high pressure ridge somewhere right in here this high is going to retrograde back into the pacific that as it takes the ridge with it then there's lower pressures that will settle in across the west for the end of the month and into the month of february and you can kind of see it happening this is what we look at to gauge atmospheric river uh, contributions and look at it by the end of the month into early february we're talking about more activity the line indicating weak atmospheric river contribution starts to increase off the coast of California. So you know things are changing by the end of the month into the early stages of February. Let me show what the jet stream looks like now that we can view uh, February 1st. Here it is. Um, so you've got uh, an active pattern for the west with some uh, troughs and an active jet kind of knifing through the interior. Um, escorting storm systems down through the Rockies. So things are definitely different by the time we get into early February for the West. All right, let me show you what this could look like as far as the, the future forecast radar and satellite. Okay, so this is Tuesday morning at 6. Remember, everything's coming down on a northwest flow. There comes the next disturbance Wednesday morning. Now the one behind it for Thursday morning. And then on Friday, another one gathering steam coming out of Canada, diving south. And here comes the transition on or about the 28th. Notice everything is coming to the south. That whole band of snow west to east is all dropping to the south and will eventually affect California and uh, most of the west by the time we get into February 1st. So that's what's on its way. Let me show you some snow totals here. Okay, all of today through the 25th. Pretty light, but it's all on that northwest flow, anywhere from maybe one to six inches of snow. We'll probably do it for most places, a bit more in parts of Colorado. All right, so that goes through the 25th. Here is phase two. Now this is uh, taking into account the pattern change as everything becomes more of an active pattern for the west with lower pressures hitting the west coast and then translating in to the interior. You can see the numbers are much bigger. So we're going to catch some pretty big totals for the Tetons and this is consistent with what I was saying yesterday for Montana, Big Sky, Bridger Bowl, Discovery, Sun Valley, uh, the Wasatch is in for a couple of feet. Um, in Colorado, we could be seeing some good totals, especially in the central and northern mountains on the heels of some of that northwest flow. 
Uh, we could be looking at a foot or more. So we've got some nice totals. And then look at California, really the canary there in the coal mine showing you, hey, this pattern's returning. We've got uh, a jet that may become active for California again, which would serve the West very well. Um, but some totals there could be a foot on the way very late in the period, you know, after the 28th for Tahoe down to Mammoth. All right, here's one specialty map. Same map I showed you in Colorado, grand totals between today and the 1st of February. The numbers have gone up since yesterday, but they're not as high as they were two days ago. Um, you're looking at some places, uh, and again, these are the places that would be favored by a northwest flow. Vale, up towards Steamboat, Buff Pass, Longs Peak, Cameron, one to two feet for a lot of those places. So at least the numbers have crept back up from where they were yesterday. All right, let's go to the northeast. All right, so you're getting some snow today, so that's accounted for in these numbers. And then the 25th and the 26th, you can see um, the numbers probably a foot out of that storm system on 25, 26, and then probably some contribution from another potential storm by the end of the month into February 1st. So some decent numbers there over the next nine days. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care. Have a good day.